Guys, I'm doing a review on the Otterbox Venture 65. I did my research, I don't play games. When you're spending that much money on a cooler, you wanna know that you're buying the number one cooler in the entire world. I watched so many videos on so many different coolers and I gathered my research, but besides that, I did my own due diligence. What makes a good cooler? There's two ways to make a cooler. There's roto molding and injection molding. Again, the words are roto molding or injection molding. Both have positives, both have negatives, but I'm going to tell you why this one, again, is number one. Otterbox has lots of competitors. They absolutely do. They're good coolers. They are. They're just not the number one cooler in the world. The Otterbox is an injected molded cooler. I'm going to tell you what that means and how it applies to you, but let me tell you about the opposite, Yeti and some of those other companies. What they're doing is called roto molding. And what they've done is they've taken a gigantic cast, putting plastic pieces into this mold, and then they're heating up the mold, but at the same time that they're heating up the mold, they're spinning it, slowly heating it up, it starts to rotate and then it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. What that means is your sides, oftentimes when you're using that technology, they're thinner because all of the what plastic that's melting in that cast is going to the corners. I don't want any thin spots on my cooler. So when you're using roto molding, there's not a lot of details, okay? It's one cast, and so you're not gonna see a lot of different things. You're not, a lot of times, you're not gonna see two colors because they can't put two colors in there or they will not melt together. It's and less it's complex. There's not a lot of details. Well, I kind of like the details. I kind of like the two-tone. I, I like this kind of stuff, this thing, Otterbox. I like the line where I can put different leaflets going down in the Otterbox. I like all those kind of things. And again, when you're looking at roto molding, you're not gonna get that. Let's flip it over. When you're looking at injection molding, which is what the Otterbox is made of, you can have multiple colors. This setup, is bloody expensive but once it's set up once it's paid for boom 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 you can punch out the coolers you really can a lot of detail a lot of really neat stuff like the mountains Some of the these details ones. that i really like look at these see the lines that's injection molding see this right here it's injection molding look at the seam right here look at this this has a solid steel rod going all the way through it look at the craftsmanship look at fit and finish is perfect on this i mean just across the board it's fantastic look at the size of the drain which is slanted i don't know if you can see it we turn this thing sideways i'm gonna do this like this we look at this drain plug let me get this out of the way See this drain plug right here? First of all, inside it's slanted, so when you have this on a flat surface, it's gonna drain. This is the same size as a hose. How genius is that? So if you need to drain the water and you don't want it draining near your campsite, you just hook a hose up to this and you pull your hose out and it's gonna drain out into the grass somewhere. They are thinking. Now here's the question, is there a downside to injection molding? Yes. Depending on the manufacturer, some people make the walls thin. Otterbox made those casts, those molds very thick, but in doing so, it adds a little bit of weight to your cooler. It's give and take. You, you wanna go two weeks with no ice melting, okay? This is the bad boy, but it weighs 26 pounds, okay? I suggest, highly suggest, that you buy the cart. Is it expensive? Yeah, but guess what? Is it worth it? Absolutely, because look at all the stuff. So let's just say you're going to the beach with your family. Do you know how much stuff you can put on top of this? This isn't caving in like these igloos up here. Can you see this? This is igloo. These are just garbage. You know, I get maybe a day, a day and a half out of them. It's, uh, and all my food's soaking in the water. It's like, it's like an iceberg that's melting. It's global warming. This isn't anything to do with global warming. This has to do with what? An ice age. One of the downfalls in the past was that the sides weren't super thick. And so what did Otterbox do? They said, let's just make the cast. Let's make the mold 
much thicker so we can have what? The best of both worlds. And so OtterBox, they made a cast with very, very thick sides. So now the siding on this is equal. It's thick. Everything is uniform. You don't have one part over here. It's thinner than another part. Also, have, have you, you ever heard, heard of the company called Sub-Zero or Wolf or Viking? You know what they make? They make refrigerators. And you know how much they cost? 10 grand, 15 grand. You're like, what? For a refrigerator? Yeah. W why? Because of the way they make those refrigerators. And within those refrigerators is a special polyurethane foam. Do you realize that OtterBox picked up on this and they utilize that same two inch polyurethane upgraded foam for your cooler? There is absolutely no way in the world that another competitor can beat this cooler. Why? because of the way it's constructed. It's thicker siding, it's thicker foam, which is the upgraded foam. Guys, I'm not, I'm not talking about this crap. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. This is garbage. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the best of the best and they put it within this unit. The craftsmanship, the detail. I had to criticize this unit. It's not from ice retention. I promise you that. We went camping. And this thing held out. Friends, I'm getting 15 days out of this cooler. I've read where some people are getting 16, some people are getting less. I didn't Autobot. get 16 days. Friends, it's your environment. If you leave your cooler in your car, do you really think you're gonna get 16 days? No, you'll probably get 15 days. But let, let me share this with you, okay? Nothing holds ice like the Otter Box. I mean, nothing does. We, we take it out. We use this cooler and it's fantastic ice retention. It is. And some people they are like, I only got 14 days out of it. They said this. Listen, listen, listen. Did you read the directions? Uh, no. Well, if you know you're going to be camping, and you know you're leaving the next day, OtterBox suggests that you use burner ice or you put ice packs in it. You want to pre-chill this to get the temperature down. The competitors that sell coolers, they say it's 65. That's how big our coolers, but they measure from the outsides. OtterBox shows you internally, this is 65 quarts where you put your food. Also, they have all of these cool attachment places where you can put drink holders, you can put a bottle opener, you can put dividers on the inside, you can put a tray table, you can put a cutting board. There's all these different things. You can put an OtterBox dry storage box on the outside. When we're talking about coolers, uh, yes, I, I, I understand there's other brands, Yeti, Pelican, some, I, look, look, I understand that. They're good coolers. They're just not number one in the world. That's all I'm saying. Now, when you look at other coolers, you know what I always like to do? Look at the accessories. Look at the things that they offer that go along with the cooler. Otter Box wins hands down. Why? Because again, it's injected molding, thicker sides, polyurethane, upgraded foam. And so it has all the niches and all the knacks and all the molly basically attachments. So look, I can put things like this. I actually put a wheel kit on this. And when I was looking at the wheel kit, I was like, you know what? That wheel kit looks very, very familiar. The wheel. A kayak or a small boat, you're probably familiar with what's called a sea tug. You put your kayak on here. Well, look at the wheels, okay? The OtterBox wheels are almost identical to these wheels, which is neat. And again, just like the Sea Tug, you can do this, pull this, and you can pull the wheel off. Same with the Otter. This is number one in the world. This is number one in the world. Guys, look at these wheels. When I looked at other coolers, some of them had wheels attached, but they only went this far beneath the cooler. Well, if I'm loading my cooler up with steaks and chicken and hot dogs and hamburgers and drinks and waters and Cokes, guess what the cooler gets? You're right, heavy, okay? As it gets heavy, it's going to sink into the dirt, the sand, the mud. What you want is a big, thick tire or wheel and OtterBox delivers. And look at this cart. First of all, it hooks down here. So it has a place. If I don't have the cooler on it, this lays down. I go like this. This is one way I can, look at this. 
Look at this, how easy this is. Friends, you can have 300 pounds in this cooler. It's easy, it's just easy. And also, because this is so hard, you can put lawn chairs on top of this and strap them down or towels or who knows what. Because a lot of times we're camping somewhere and then we're gonna haul ourselves all the way down to the beach. Again, because of the wheels, they're gonna be able to go through the sand. They're gonna be able to go through the mud. They're gonna be able to go through the dirt or through the woods with this unit. It's solid. And again, what's it made out? Ballistic plastic, composite. I mean, it's not breaking, it's not snapping. On the back, one of the things that I think is neat is a lot of times we have other things that we are going to to pull behind us there's a little hook mechanism on here so you can put a hook here and pull something behind your otter box look at the back you can adjust this so if you get the smaller of these units this same cart will work with the cart kit you can get the otter box venture 45 and you can adjust the size of this very easily one screw it locks in and then you can use it for the Adventure 45. The same technology, the same specs, everything is in that unit. And again, when we're talking about the measuring, internal, it's 45 cubic square inches, meaning this, it can hold a lot. And when we're talking about the OtterBox Venture 25, man, that thing is perfect for picnicking. It's right here, it's in your hands. It's, it's, it's manageable without a cart. You can just carry that thing no matter how much you pack it in. Another thing that I really like are the handles on this thing. I don't know if you can see it, but these are steel hinges in here. This is a very, very, very thick rubber composite. This is ballistic plastic. But again, when we're talking about this, these are the first things that are gonna break on most coolers. But guess what? They're not going to break on your cooler. OtterBox went ahead. They thought ahead. They realized five years down the road, 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road. This is the stuff that stretches out. This is the stuff that breaks. This is the stuff that if it's in the middle of the winter and you're camping and it's cold outside, most coolers, you have to take your gloves off, not this. Look at this. This is so easy. There's nothing to this. Look at this. I go up here and I can do it like this. When it's fully locked down on both sides, OtterBox sells a special lock that makes it bear proof. A big gigantic grizzly by the name of Bart can't get your food, but you can. There's other ways to use this too. You can just put it on here, clap it up, and I'm pulling this way. The otters, they know what they're doing. This cooler, it was designed in Colorado, but it's made in Detroit. Meaning this, this thing isn't made, okay, someplace on the other side of the world where the, the majority, majority of OtterBox's competitors make their coolers. The majority of the coolers that you're finding today, even the high-end ones, they're not made here in America. And yet again, this was designed in Colorado and it was made in a huge factory in Detroit by people who know what they're doing and how to make stuff. What's my problem with this cooler? Matt, if you had one problem with the cooler, what is it? Uh, OtterBox lied. They said this thing was bear proof. And guys, here's the thing, I test it. And you're like, Matt, how did you test to see if it was bear proof? Friends, I got a polar bear right here. Look, I got a polar bear. Okay? They said a bear could not get into this cooler. You're full of crap, Otter Box. You're full of crap. Watch this. Otter Box, you didn't tell the truth. Why didn't you tell the truth? No, guys, I tell you what, it is bear proof. They have special locking mechanisms on it. And my bear is just to show you how totally awesome this cooler is. You cannot go wrong with this cooler. When you're talking about a company coming out and saying, hey, we're gonna give you a lifetime warranty on this cooler, who does that anymore? Nobody does. That's how sure OtterBox is, that you're not only gonna enjoy your cooler, but it's gonna last for your life. Ask yourself thus far, how many coolers have I bought? thus far in life. How many plastic coolers? I decided to go to the lake really quick. I bought a foam cooler or I was out and about and you know, and I bought another one. I've bought so many coolers in my life. See guys, one of the things that I used to think, this is a lifetime cooler. They still sell this cooler at Walmart. I used to think, wow, look, it has pretty thick sides. This is probably maybe an inch, an inch and a quarter siding. And again, I haven't had this, but like, maybe five months, but my ice would melt. Within a day, 
probably not much more than a day. I bought two of these. These are, you know, they sell these at Walmart and I think, well, I'll just go cheap. You know, it has a ruler here for fish, a couple indents for drink holders. These I was reading eventually wear out. People that bought these a couple years ago, this or strap here, which you have to pull down, it wears out. You have a lock there. They say this is bear proof. My butt, okay, this is a round one. Now, this really, I keep this not for a cooler, but for a seat. This makes an awesome $90 seat. What else do I use it for? Toilet paper. Honestly, that's just what I use it for. It's not a good cooler. And again, I'm thinking, well, look, it looks like it has two inch sides as well. No, that's a facade. This goes in, there's a lip here. It's only about an inch and a quarter. It'll give you less than a day's retention of ice. This is the stuff that Walmart pushes and everyone else pushes. Just because it has thick sides does not guarantee ice retention. Friends, you have to have the upgraded polyurethane foam that Viking puts in theirs that Sub-Zero puts in theirs, that Wolf puts in theirs. It's more expensive, but it's going to last, again, 14, 15, 16, 18 days. I could put water in this. This is kind of genius. I like this and make this a water cooler. Although the ice that I put in the water when I remove the toilet paper, it's gonna melt. And so I'm gonna have hot water. Guys, they have the Venture Series, which is what? 65, 45, 25. If you're using the cart, it's only gonna be for the 65 and the 45. Multiple colors. I'm gonna put a couple links in my description where you can find them. The cheapest right now, they vary. They go up and down by 10 or $20. Venture Series, on some of the coolers, you're gonna notice what looks like a decal here on the sides. Friends, that's no decal that's baked in that's not coming off that's not just some glamorized sticker i put a life is good sticker here because i like that motto life is good when you own an otter box and your stuff is sitting in the sun all day and guess what it's icy cold when it's time to pull it out and cook it up but look at look at look at, if you're really worried about ice retention whether you're going to get 15 days or 17 days or 14 days if you go with the white you get about a day and a half more ice retention versus the tan. So, it, but again, how long are you gonna be out there? Is it the worst case scenario adding a bag of ice? Normally, unless you're out there over two weeks, you don't have to add any ice. Well, Matt, I don't need anything that big. I don't even need the Venture 25. You know, OtterBox has a soft-sided cooler. I've seen them. I don't own one. They're awesome. Listen, listen, listen. They're awesome. It's called the Trooper Series, okay? And it opens up like this. I'll put a picture in it so you can see. I'll even put a link in it. But I tell you what, it's a backpack. Meaning you just strap that thing onto your back depending on the one that you get. And they're expensive, but again, it's going to last you. The Trooper, which again is a thick, thick, thick soft side, is leak proof. It's not gonna give you any problems. And so again, you can strap that thing on your back. It's like done to a backpack. Again, I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out. That might be the way you wanna go. But go stick with the brand that you know. Stick with the, see, it's, it's the things that you don't see in this cooler that make this cooler. It's, it's what's going on behind the scenes that makes this such an awesome cooler. Things that they're not advertising. They're not telling you all the different steps that they're doing. You go to the OtterBox factory where they're making these in Detroit and start seeing those machines. The craftsmanship, when they start putting those micrometers on it, you see how interested it. They don't take this lightly. They're not just thinking, oh, Oh, this is just a cooler I'm making. I got to punch in and punch out. They take pride in making these and anything that doesn't pass their inspection is junked. Hey, do yourself a favor. Buy the OtterBox cooler. You won't be sorry. I promise. You can get into it because I did. That's the only problem. <laughs>